Hello leaders and future leaders, this is Sergeant First Class Bites. In this video, I will provide you information and insight on the basic combat training experience. This will be a guide through basic training, starting at zero day, moving through each phase until we reach graduation day. You will learn what reception battalion is and what will take place each day at reception. Also, I will supply you with a general idea of what the schedule for a day at BCT looks like. My goal in this video is to give you a clear vision of what lies ahead. Know that preparation is the key to success at basic Basic training. With that being said, here are some things I recommend you do in preparation for basic combat training. Learn your social security number. They'll ask for your social security number at least 831 times, so memorize it. Learn the soldier's creed, the warrior ethos, seven army values, military time, and your first three general orders. Start working out. At a minimum, run and do body weight exercises like pull-ups, push-ups, and sit-ups. Get a small address book where you can write down names, numbers, and addresses of the people you want to have contact with while you're at training. They will take your phone, so get an actual address book. Time for a quick plug. I kindly ask that you subscribe to my channel. My goal is to become a full-time YouTuber and continuously provide videos that help my viewers. I've spent 17 years in the military, deployed to a combat zone, I'm qualified in five military occupational specialties, and I'm a Bronze Star recipient. I have a lifetime of knowledge to provide, and if you subscribe, my knowledge spreads, helping our country become a stronger and more elite fighting force. Once you've decided to join the Guard, pass the eligibility, requirements and took the oath, the next step of your journey from civilian to soldier is basic combat training. While physical fitness is a big part of it, BCT is not all about push-ups and sit-ups. You'll learn the benefits of discipline in all you do. You'll learn core army values along with critical combat and occupational skills. You'll learn how to depend on your battle buddies and you'll earn their trust as well. Leave your DIY ego at home. First stop, Reception Battalion. Reception Battalion is also known as Week Zero. Here you'll undergo blood testing, get hearing and vision exams, and be screened for pregnancy and tuberculosis. You'll receive immunizations and undergo a dental exam and x-rays, and you'll fill out endless forms. At Reception Battalion, you'll receive items such as earplugs, eyewear, and sunscreen that help you maintain a stage of medical readiness. Zero Day. Amnesty Brief. When you arrive, you'll be told what you can and cannot have at Reception Battalion. This will be your last chance to get rid of any prohibited items without being penalized. Military record keeping. With the paperwork you brought with you, you'll set up the medical, financial, and personnel records that will last for your entire military career. Day one, first stop, pay station. After getting up at 5 a.m. and eating breakfast in the chow hall, you'll go to the pay station to receive your military ID. You can get your military ID prior to BCT. Ask your recruiter the steps you need to take to get your military ID in your state. Central Issuing Facility, or CIF. Here you'll be issued your army equipment, including your uniforms. Here's a tip. Toward the end of basic training, ask your drill sergeant if you can turn in your uniforms for new replacement uniforms. By the end of BCT, your uniforms will be dirty and torn up, and they probably won't fit because because you will likely have lost weight or in some cases gained muscle. Then you will be leaving training with a brand new uniform. Medical exams. You'll take a general medical exam, including a blood test. Females will have blood tests for pregnancy and then a regular blood test on day two. Briefings. You'll be briefed on the GI Bill, which I've talked about in my last two videos, Army National Guard pay and maximizing your pay in the Army National Guard. You will also be briefed on service members group life insurance and the reserve component. General orientation. This station will introduce you to some Army basics such as the chaplain's role, the Red Cross, the Uniform Code of Military Justice, company policies, and managing your personal affairs, post exchange, or the PX. If you don't have items you need for BCT, you'll be able to buy them from here. During in-processing, your feet will be evaluated for the proper type of running shoes, and you may be told to purchase a new pair. You will receive an Eagle Cash card at Reception Battalion with an advance balance of $350. You can use the card at the post exchange to purchase items necessary for BCT. Day 2 at Reception Battalion. Vaccine. You'll get up to six of these, so if you don't like shots, well, I'm sorry. If it makes you feel better, I think we got double that when I went through OSA training. Vision and dental exam. You'll have a general vision checkup along with a dental exam, including x-rays. At the dental exam, you will be issued a protective mouth guard, which you'll use during certain BCT training exercises. Personal affairs division. Here you'll review your personal affairs and verify that everything is correct. If anything remains unresolved by the time you get here, it can be a stumbling block, so make sure you settled your affairs before you get to reception battalion. Day three, eyeglasses and insert lenses provided. If you need glasses, they'll be made on site. You'll receive two pairs of glasses plus insert lenses for your protective mask. Photos, yearbook, BCT video, and ring. You'll be photographed in your military uniform for the yearbook. At this station, you might even be given the option to pay in advance for a yearbook, BCT video, 
or graduation ring. Day four and five, final processing. If everything is complete, you'll get assigned to a unit and ship on day four. If you missed anything for any reason, you'll do it on this day and then ship on day five. Before you ship, you'll clean the barracks, get your ID tags, and stencil your name on your duffel bags. Make a good impression. The Army has strict rules about appearance that you should know before you show up for BCT. You don't want the first drill sergeant you meet to single you out as an example. That almost never goes well. Personal appearance is important from the very first day. It demonstrates pride and self-discipline, and it helps build camaraderie in your unit. If you don't think it's true, it honestly doesn't matter. At this point, it's all about what the Army thinks. Specifically, it's about what your drill sergeants think. It's time to train. Once you complete the reception battalion stage, you'll be assigned to a training company. Drill sergeants will come to get you and bring you to your assigned BCT company location. Males and females will sleep in separate bays or living spaces. At some point, you may be told to line up your bag in a certain way to see if you can follow directions. Then you'll be ordered to empty your bag. If any contraband falls out, this will be your first opportunity to see a drill sergeant, well, express disappointment. Your training company, a who's who. Part of your training will be to learn the different ranks of leadership and understand who you'll report to and what their responsibilities are at BCT. Drill sergeants and cadre will in process you and assign you to a platoon. A platoon is a group of 60 soldiers and three drill sergeants. The company commander is in charge, establishes policy, and has legal discipline authority over all company personnel. The first sergeant assists the commander and supervises the drill sergeants as well as other company personnel. The training officer or executive officer maintains your training records and coordinates daily training schedules. Basic training, the three phases. Basic training is divided into three phases. Each phase includes a physical fitness test and is designed to challenge your body and mind. The completion of each stage is a notable achievement and signifies an important milestone in your young guard career. Red phase. In this phase, also known as Patriot phase, you'll learn the fundamentals of soldiering, things like discipline, values, and teamwork. You will participate in physical readiness training, road marches, and confidence building exercises. You'll learn first aid and hand-to-hand -hand combat and guerrilla exercises. Most of your classroom training occurs during red phase. You'll study army heritage, army traditions, and the seven core army values. Occasionally, you may be assigned tasks such as guarding your barracks overnight. Red phase introduces you to the intensity of army training and prepares you for the challenges to come in the next two phases. White phase. Your physical training will continue, of course. In white phase, you'll also learn rifle marksmanship and qualify with your assigned weapon. You'll learn warrior tasks and battle drills. Based basic skills necessary to meet the needs of the U.S. Army. Put your heart and soul into it, and your confidence will continue to grow. You'll earn your rifle qualification badge when you successfully complete white phase. Blue phase. In the third and final phase, also known as warrior phase, you'll throw live hand grenades. You'll learn to operate additional weapons, train in urban warfare, and learn to survive in the field for multiple days. You'll continue to build on everything you learned in red and white phase, with a special focus on teamwork and discipline. After passing all your BCT tests and meeting all your your BCT challenges, you'll qualify to wear the Army Black Beret. Here's a general idea of what the schedule looks like for a day at basic combat training. 05, first call. 0530, physical readiness training. 0630, breakfast chow. 0830, training. 1200, lunch chow. 1300, training. 1700, dinner chow. 1800, drill sergeant time. 2030, personal time. 2130, lights out. BCT graduation requirements. You will be taking the Army Combat Fitness Test. As of January 2021, it is not a requirement to pass this fitness test. However, that is subject to change. Anticipate having to take and pass this fitness test. Safely handle, provide proper maintenance, and qualify with your individual weapon. Complete the protective mass confidence exercise. Demonstrate proficiency in the warrior tasks and battle drills. Demonstrate proficiency in basic first aid techniques. Complete the obstacle and confidence courses. Complete combatives training. Throw live hand grenades. Pass the four-person team land navigation course. Complete the tactical field training exercise. Complete the buddy team live fire. Graduation. In the final week of BCT, week 10, you'll clean and turn in your gear received from CIF and you'll clean the barracks. You'll also receive a day with your family to catch up on your recent experiences. The next day, you'll graduate. What follows that will be advanced individual training. If you're doing OSUT, you'll be right back to conducting business as usual. I hope this video provided you some solid information and insight on basic combat training. If so, please like the video and subscribe to become part of the Bites Army. Thanks for watching. This is Sergeant First Class Bites. I'm out.